Motion sickness has always been a problem in aviation, especially in 1940 with a significant increase in RAF aircrew trainees. And at times, it has been a significant cause of dropout from flying training. Hardly surprising, a common cause of air sickness is bumpy weather. This being the main reason why coastal command was most afflicted. They flew at average heights of 1,000 feet where turbulent conditions were more prevalent. But apparently, a ride in a troop carrying glider meant motion sickness was almost a certainty. Having identified the problem, a solution needed to be found. And it was the desensitization program for aircrew, initiated in the mid 1960s, that proved the best solution. A turntable is used on which the subject is rotated while tilting the head to induce symptoms of motion sickness. Over a number of days, the severity is increased by altering the speed of the turntable and increasing the number of head tilts during each run. The horizontal table produces little motion sickness with the head stationary. Here, there is an indication of disorientation when the head is moved forwards while spinning, a very effective way of inducing nausea. The motion sick subject shows long lasting signs of vertigo. In this case, the subject has been desensitized and is now virtually immune to motion sickness. He demonstrates little and very short lasting effects of vertigo. The program proved very successful in most cases and today continues to return desensitized aircrew to operational flying.